Okay, guys. Uh, today I have something very special for you. It is a 1v1 on Dark Comment, and uh, today you get to see me play <laughs> again. Uh, this is uh, this is not total uh, escalation. This is uh, total scrubs, scrub annihilation, uh, average scrubs. I was actually thinking of calling this. Um, I was actually thinking of calling these games where I, where I show you my own gameplay. Um, TA Humiliation, right? It's like a play on Escalation. I call these games TA Humiliation. And uh, yeah, I, you guys get to see me uh, make a fool of myself uh, on camera. That's always fun, I'm sure, and always an entertaining experience. But uh, no, I, actually this game, uh, was pretty good. I, I thought I did pretty well. I wanted to show you guys, uh, get some community feedback. And uh, this is on Dark Comet. It is, uh, like I said, a glorified comet catcher. I've done, I, I think I've casted this map before. Um, it is an interesting map. Uh, there is no wind and no geo, so you are relying completely on solar power at the beginning. And uh, my opponent here is Lost One, the blue arm commander going vehicle. And uh, me, the green core commander, also going vehicle. On a map like this, vehicle is pretty, uh, pretty a standard option, I think, uh, because of, um, you know, just how flat it is. There's a pretty big gap between the two bases. K-Bots tend to do better on that uh, more uh, uneven terrain, you might say. And uh, let's see, my opponent started three metal extractors and five solar collectors, and I went, it looks like three metal extractors and four solar collectors, but uh, I have built that light laser tower right at the start. Uh, I have built, uh, let's see, one construction vehicle for now, but uh, the second one just came out. And my opponent also on two construction vehicles but also uh, he's bringing over a lot of Jeffies across the map, five of them it seems. And uh, that is very annoying to deal with. If you've ever had to deal with Jeffy harassment, I do pull this construction vehicle back. And uh, you can see that blue marker, he did mark my light laser tower, so that is going to, uh, he'll know where that is. He's going to bring these four Jeffies uh, into uh, my undefended base area. It's frustrating because I did build two light laser towers, but uh, he did find that opening. It is very hard to defend everything, guys. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast. Can't usually defend everything. There's going to be holes in your defenses, and uh, if your player, if the enemy's micro is good enough, they will exploit those but uh, yeah my opponent now on three construction vehicles working on a fourth so uh, he's definitely uh, going into that pretty heavily I think I do kill this Jeffy before it does take out that metal extractor so uh, yeah I'm on three construction vehicles my opponent on I think he was on four. Yeah, he's on four. So that's going to give him an advantage early on. Uh, being on more construction vehicles, definitely, definitely a uh, a boost. Allow you to uh, take over the map more quickly. Build those metal extractors. Uh, in the early game, it is pretty tough to uh, manage the uh, oscillate between building units and building construction vehicles that can be very difficult um, here he has two flashes and uh, I believe yeah he takes these two flashes down kills this construction vehicle so that is very annoying 
I don't have any light laser towers in this area, so this construction vehicle dies for free. And uh, that is a massive mistake on my part. These instigators definitely should have been defending that construction vehicle. That was a big mistake on my part to uh, just allow that to die for free. But that is why we are watching the TA Humiliation series. <laughs> so, so you can see how not to play. It's so informative. It's such an informative uh, video to, to see how not to play. TA escalation, but uh, no, on a more serious note, uh, my opponent building an energy storage, he's still on one vehicle plant. And uh, as you can see, he does have more of the map. He also has more metal than me. He's on 29 to my 23. And uh, yeah, losing that uh, construction vehicle, definitely a huge blow for me. I think he is probably several construction vehicles ahead of me at this point. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's on six construction vehicles, and I think I am on three at the very most. So he, he I think, has double my construction vehicles. And uh, that is a very bad place to be in if you are a player. You don't want your opponent to have more production power than you. He will be able to expand much more quickly than I can. But uh, as I say that, I do walk by a construction vehicle and I'm not even paying attention. But uh, I maybe notice now and turn around and hopefully I can kill this. But uh, as of now, he's on 40 metal per second, and I am on 34. I am on two vehicle plants now. And uh, my opponent, still on one. He does seem to be uh, overflowing metal, so that's something you definitely don't want to do. On a map like this, you definitely want to keep using your metal if you can. Keep your metal production going, but also make sure that you can utilize all that metal. Uh, you don't want to be wasting it. And uh, at this particular moment, he is building two vehicle plants. And has a lot of flashes. He is on the flash game plan. That seems to be just about all that he's building right now. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty even so far, despite the fact that he uh, took out a construction vehicle early and has more. Uh, we are, I think, progressing at a similar pace here. And, uh, in the middle, looks like there may be an engagement between instigators and flashes. The uh, the instigator flash balance always very interesting. The uh, instigators have a pinpoint accuracy, but the flashes do more damage with less accuracy. So a lot of it does come down to how you can micro those units. As you can see, I have built light laser towers kind of throughout my uh, economy there to prevent easy harassment. That doesn't mean uh, he couldn't uh, couldn't harass me, but uh, now building these levelers, and these are specifically designed to counter flashes. They are called the riot tank. So uh, yeah, that was very intentional choice on my part to start building those levelers but uh, yeah I think he does pick up another construction vehicle this again is my fault if I had simply microed it behind these uh, light laser towers it most likely would have been fine but uh, another mismicro there 
And uh, now I am on three vehicle plants. I've got uh, one pumping out levelers, one pumping out instigators, and eventually I have one pumping out raiders as well. I'm also attempting to get some harassment done, but as you can see, his economy is much better than mine at this point. At least I thought it was. Yeah, he's on 51 metal per second and I'm on 35. So uh, he is way ahead in terms of resources now on 56 metal per second. It definitely feels like uh, he is winning this game at the moment. And uh, a lot of that, I believe, has to do with the fact that uh, he's taken out several of my construction vehicles. That will put you behind, that will put, uh, that will uh, set back your economy and prevent you from getting into the game as quickly, prevent you from uh, producing things. He's on 66 metal per second to my 47. So uh, definitely ahead, 68 now, 70 to my 47, so he's way ahead. Just looking at the map, you can tell he has much more of it. And uh, I am struggling to keep up with him. But uh, these levelers, worth their weight in gold against flashes. As I said before, they are designed to counter this kind of spam. That is what their purpose in life is. It's good to know your purpose in life, and the levelers do. They will chunk these flashes with little sympathy. Those are going to die. And uh, I'm also trying to get some harassment done myself, but uh, my opponent at this point on 80 metal per second to my 47, but again, he seems to be uh, not using it. That's a big part of the problem. He seems to be on 85 metal, but uh, perhaps not using it the most efficiently. And uh, you can see he has much more of the map, and also doing a very good job of protecting it. He's got a lot of light laser towers spread across the landscape, and some defenders as well. And uh, just in general, seems to have more construction vehicles than me. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... He's 12. He's got construction vehicles out the yin-yang. I, on the other hand, only have a few. But uh, I am now on advanced vehicles. So that will be a big upgrade if I ever start <laughs> using this. Remember, guys, this is TA humiliation. So uh, it wouldn't be a cast if I wasn't uh, making a fool of myself. And, uh, but yeah, just, just looking at the map, I mean, he has such a, uh, uh, su such a, uh, superior surface area. But, uh, I am now on 52 metal per second. Looks like he is on, it's kind of hard to tell, he might be reclaiming. But, uh, it looks like he's on 90 metal per second. Unless he's just reclaiming something. Uh, but yeah, if he's on 90 metal per second, that means he's way ahead of me, but uh, no, that might just be that he was reclaiming. It's kind of hard to tell uh, what he's on right now, but uh, in the meantime, I do have this squadron of instigators and uh, a leveler, some raiders in the back, now pushing through. And there will be a brawl in the middle. These raiders are very good at taking out LLTs because they just have a lot more health than the instigators. And uh, they can take a lot of punishment and deal pretty good punishment as well. Also, their weapons having a trajectory, the raider weapons, uh, do fire in an arc. And that will bypass any dragon's teeth usually. So the dragon teeth walls, not as effective. I do take out some construction vehicles here, and that is a really nice pickup. My opponent moving down the east side of the map with a uh, small contingent of flashes. And uh, those will run into my light laser towers, but I don't think that's going to be enough to stop. 10 flashes or so. 
definitely going to have to send more than that. But I am sending Reapers now, and Reapers are the heavy riot tank. These are even more specialized than the levelers for dealing with T1 spam, especially things like flashes. So uh, in this situation, Reapers definitely a uh, an ideal choice, I would say, because uh, they do deal with this flash spam. But my opponent uh, still way ahead on me in economy. It looks like he's making 91 metal per second to my 47. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with just how many construction vehicles he has built throughout this game and uh, is utilizing across the map to uh, essentially build anything and everything he needs, such as metal extractors, light laser towers, sentinels, and uh, defenders. So uh, that is something to keep in mind in future games for me. I probably need more constructors. Let's see here. I do. I am now uh, working on moho extractors to uh, try to give my economy a boost. Perhaps catch up with my opponent if I can. And uh, here in the middle, a combination of raiders and levelers. Which I will uh, gleefully push in with and uh, see what I can get done. But, uh, as I said before, these raiders much better against light laser towers than our instigators. And uh, the first reaper making its way up to the north. Uh, reapers versus light laser towers, it's really not much of a contest. Uh, light laser towers really just don't have much of a chance in hell against reapers. They simply do too much damage and have too much health for those light laser towers to really make much of an impact. But uh, here in the middle, a couple levelers finding these flashes. And uh, this push of raiders and reapers, practically the perfect force for taking out light laser tower spam. They just do a lot of damage and uh, can take a lot of punishment so uh, that is going pretty well and uh, looking at our economies now my opponent's still way ahead of me 93 metal per second to my 57 but uh, I do think I'm slowly catching up building these moho extractors uh, each one of these producing a lot of metal I don't know exactly how much but probably something like six and uh, so as I can upgrade my economy to T2, I would like to think perhaps I can catch up with him, but uh, who knows? At this point, he's at about 100 metal per second, building some moho extractors of his own. I do uh, continue to micro this small raiding force here at the top. And uh, here in the middle, some reapers and raiders in combat, but uh, there is just way too much stuff, and those will eventually die. My opponent now building some panthers, and uh, as you can see, I am kind of spreading my wings a little bit out onto the map. And uh, continuing to push out the best that I can, given my resource disadvantage. My opponent now on 100 and, oh, well he's on 100 metal per second to my 80. So uh, he's still winning that battle it seems. But uh, I'm doing the best I can to move around the map and take out metal extractors. Oh, my opponent said good smurfing. Um, I didn't notice that in the game, but that is that's a uh, that's an experience I've run into over and over uh, as I've played Escalation. Everyone likes to accuse me of smurfing, which means that I'm actually a different player. Like I have a, a separate account. Like I'm actually you know Herald or Combat Disc or EXE, just pretending to be someone else. Like no, I'm really just me. 
<laughs> people think, like, people honestly think that I'm some, like, Escalation Pro. I'm, you know, I'm Tag Rock or something, you know, on a Smurf account. Like, dude, no way. No way. Like, just, just look at me. Look at all the mistakes I've made this game. Like, you think a pro would be... Like, he's, he's technically still ahead in economy. He's 20 metal ahead. He's gonna take out this Moho Extractor basically for free. And, uh... Yeah, to think that I'm I'm a pro uh, masquerading as wing, you know, that wing flyer is just a pseudonym. It is really interesting to me, you know. May, I think that's the way some people cope in this in this game. They can't they cannot be beaten by a newer player, so they must, in their mind, rationalize that he must be some TA god with a silly account, silly Smurf account. But uh, no, that is not the case. I've just been grinding games. I do take it as a compliment that he thinks I'm somebody else, but uh, nope. That is not the case. Just me, just Wingflyer. Just started playing Escalation recently. But uh, I have been having a lot of fun. It has been uh, pretty fun games for the most part. I usually lose. And uh, that's okay, because uh, you have to lose to get better. So no problem with that. And uh, my opponent still ahead on resources and still having more of the map. As you can see, he kind of decimated all of my re my metal extractors here because they weren't very well defended. But uh, all it takes is a couple reapers to uh, move along this part of the map and slowly take out everything in the radius. All these metal extractors and light laser towers will be deleted and uh, yeah I've been building these vipers uh, vipers uh, extremely powerful t2 defense especially against these little raiding swarms of panthers and flashes though emulators might be good as well perhaps I could have built emulators I think they're a little cheaper and uh, good specifically against these short-range threats as well uh, Vipers, more of a mid-range defense, more uh, kind of well-rounded, but I think more expensive as well. But uh, just sending some scouts over to see what my opponent's doing. And uh, moving through the middle, our economies are now about equal. He's on 85. It looked like he was on 85 metal per second. Uh, he is now moving down the east side, but this single Viper doing work as you can see I am struggling a little bit on energy at this moment so it is not firing as consistently as it could be but uh, ultimately with the levelers that should be enough and uh, my opponent does give up I don't know why he gave up perhaps he was on tilt by uh, from having to get beaten by a smurf no I don't know that game was really close and I definitely think it could have gone either way I'm not sure why he why he gave up there, why he rage quit, but uh, ultimately, guys, I wanted to show you that game. I thought it was pretty good overall. I thought it was really close. Uh, I really wish we could have played it out, and uh, I think uh, either of us could have won. Definitely, uh, definitely didn't need to end there, but uh, overall, that is uh, that's the game I just played, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next cast.